the next thing that I want to show you is you probably don't want a couch floating in space. You want it to look like it's actually sitting on something, like a floor, and you want it to look like it's in a room, probably. Um, so this is the this is how I usually make that happen. So with nothing else, if you go to add, there's a lot of options of things that you can add. But if you go to mesh, you can add a plane. And that is just a just a flat thing, you know? Like it's just like a tile. And what I like to do is just make this really big or as big as I think I need. So I'm going to click on it and then scale it. Just make it bigger. And I'm going to move it just so it's like the couches at the back of the room. Like kind of how a room usually is. Um, if you don't know how to scale the object, um, watch my other video. Because uh, it's a lot to get into um, just to clutter up this. So I'm not going to go over that here. But now to get the wall, I'm going to just copy and paste and then I'm going to rotate it on this right panel so that it's 90 degrees. It should look like that. And now I'm going to move it behind the couch so that that's like it's like a little wall. And that's the base of a room. So we can kind of see it coming together and how it's going to look. Um, you might want some kind of texture or wallpaper or something on this, but for the sake of this tutorial, I am simply going to color these a different color. And now remember, a color in Blender is the same thing as a material. So I'm going to first click on the floor and go back to that same area, Material Properties, and I'm going to add a new material to this. And if I click Base Color, I can just change the color of it. I don't have to add an image. So that's what I'm going to do here to try to get something that kind of looks like a floor color. Something like that. Because let's be real, the floor is not the star of the scene. Your sim is. And you may want to add something later that looks like real flooring. But this is a great way to get started. Now I'm going to change the color of the back wall the same exact way. I think that color looks good. And that's it. And now, the same way we imported the couch, you can import any kind of object that you want. You can move the couch the same way you would move the walls and arrange the furniture in any way that you want. So in the next video, I'm going to show importing a more complex object and making the scene a little more detailed.